Hello. 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 Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> uh, this is my profile page on WordPress org. I'm a plugin developer, maybe uh, known as uh, also Contact Form 7 plugin, but uh, I uh, have been involved in the WordPress community uh, in a lot of roles. Uh, these badges uh, represent my roles, so let's look closer. Uh, I'm a translation contributor, uh, support team member, uh, support contributor. Uh, these are for, uh, mainly for uh, Japanese WordPress community. And uh, uh, I send some badges to Core. Uh, co-contributor and uh, one by TV contributor uh, and I took several times at the world camp, world camp. Uh, most of them are in Japan and uh, translation editor and uh, I'm a plugin developer I am from Fukuoka, Japan Fukuoka is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in Western Japan, uh, you may not know about Fukuoka. Uh, maybe most of you know, don't know Fukuoka. But uh, you must know the famous character born in Fukuoka. Uh, very famous character in WordPress community. Can you guess it? Wapu. <laughs> you know. Uh, it's Wapu. Do you know Wapu? Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Uh, Wapu. The original Wapu, this one, was created by a Fukuoka based illustrator and introduced at WordCamp Fukuoka 2011. This is the first Wapu cake. <laughs> uh, now we see so many Wapu children around the world, including Singapore. <laughs> yeah. you, you know Singapore, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, the first Wapu, the original Wapu, was from Fukuoka. So, please remember Fukuoka as Wapu Topia. <laughs> yeah, Wapu Topia. <laughs> okay, uh, I started. Plugin development in 2006, so I have 10 years experience in plugin development. Uh, now I have 10 plugins in the WordPress plugin directory. Among them, uh, Contact Form 7 and Bogo are my favorite ones. This is Contact Form 7. Uh, it manages Contact Forms. Uh, do you know this? Yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, it is now used on more than one million sites. Uh, it becomes, uh, became one of the most popular WordPress plugins. And this is Bogo. Uh, Bogo makes your site multilingual. Uh, do you know this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, 
uh, uh, uh, both uh, strong point is uh, it manages uh, language metadata in a very clean and efficient way. Uh, if you are uh, interested in uh, this type of multilingual plugin, uh, I can show you a demonstration after this. Uh, so please ask me. Last month, contact form seven passed 40 million downloads. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, and I never picked up on the uh, one of the new site, made an article, wrote an article about it. Um, I'm really excited to see such huge number of sites uh, user plugin I created. Uh, all over the world, uh, millions of sites are actively using it. Uh, uh, maybe uh, I am the person who is surprised the most. Uh, that is awesome. I feel honored. Uh, on the other hand, I have been thinking about, thinking for a long time about uh, the responsibility. What is the responsibility of plugin developers? WordPress allows plugins to do everything. Plugins can do everything. Plugins can make WordPress better or worse. Most users use at least one plugin. You can make the experience for WordPress good or frustrating. WordPress gives us uh, plugin developers great opportunities. What should we do? for WordPress. So, what is the responsibility? This is my answer. The responsibility of plugin developers is to keep WordPress accessible for everyone. Uh, regardless of age, disabilities, or language. Why? Because WordPress core is designed to be accessible for everyone. Plugins should follow it. Don't let your plugins destroy it. So, how can we keep WordPress accessible for everyone with plugins? There can be a lot of aspects, but today uh, let's focus on the, uh, these two aspects, accessibility and localization. First, let's look at the accessibility aspect. Is your plugin accessible? Uh, many people think accessibility doesn't matter. It's not related to themselves. I myself used to think like that. But now I know it's wrong. All of us get old. Our sight becomes weaker and it gets harder to read low contrast text, uh, like the middle. Uh, can you read this? Yeah. So, uh, it's yeah, becoming harder. Uh, and elderly people are not a minority in the internet society. You wouldn't want to ignore them. So ensure that there is uh, there's enough contrast. Uh, 
Blind people use screen reader software to access websites. If your plugin manages web forms, you will need to pay special attention to the forms accessibility. Most screen readers don't read text inside a form unless it's correctly marked up using a form control element like label or legend element. So, for important, important instructions, use correct labeling. Otherwise, users don't get what they are supposed to input into their fields. And your plugin form will be completely useless. <coughs> this March, the WordPress accessibility team announced that all new or updated code releasing to WordPress core must confirm with the WCAG 2.0 guidelines. WCAG stands for Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. This means WordPress core, WordPress core code ensures a specific level of accessibility. Plugins should follow it. Uh, if you want to learn web accessibility and know how to make your plugins accessible, check the WordPress Accessibility Handbook. Next, let's look at the localization aspect. If you are plugin monitoring already, Let's think about translation first. Translate WordPress org makes collaborative translation possible. Now you can translate WordPress plugins on Translate WordPress org site. More than 100 languages are registered on the site and the volunteer translators work for their local languages. To make phrases using your plugin translatable, use special get text functions like this underscore underscore uh, this is the function. Uh, the first argument first argument Sorry. <laughs> the first argument is the original English text, and the second argument, the uh, contact form seven, uh, it is. Ah, thank you. The second argument is uh, uh, called the domain. Uh, in this case, the domain is the plugin name. So uh, this is my, for my contact form 10 plugin. Or you can use these variant, variant functions. Uh, next, uh, let's look at text direction. Uh, note that in some languages, text is written uh, in right to left direction. Arabic, uh, Persian, and Hebrew uh, in this group. This is uh, a new post page 
uh, admin page shown in English. English is the default language of WordPress. Uh, the main menu bar. Main menu bar is shown on the left side. This is the same page shown in Arabic. Arabic is a right to left language. Uh, notice that the main menu bar, admin bar, is shown on the right side. Okay. English. Arabic. This is in Chinese, so the same layout as the English version. And this is the same page in showing uh, Hebrew. Hebrew is uh, right to left, so here is the sidebar. And this is Japanese version, left to right, so here is the sidebar. And this is the same page in Persian, so here. So as you see, um, in some languages, text is written right to left, and the pages may have different layout. Uh, many plugins that blocks into the admin screen. Do your plugins work correctly in our dear languages? If you set these properties in your plugin style sheet, uh, you may need to change the left to write in the audio languages like this. WordPress function is RTL tells if the site language is RTL. Uh, like this code does, uh, make an additional style sheet for RTL and load it when the site language is RTL. So this is the function is RTL. Uh, make a style sheet for RTL, a style RTL CSS and then queue the style if it's RTL. Okay. Okay, uh, we looked at two aspects today, access accessibility and localization. But of course, these are not the only things we need to run. Uh, yeah, there are other things important, uh, for example, about security, uh, privacy, or uh, writing a document, yeah, everything. Um, but unfortunately, I, I don't have enough time, uh, so uh, let's discuss later. These are not about cool programming technique. Uh, but uh, it doesn't mean it's not important for developers. Actually, it's really important. Again, responsibility of plugin developers is to keep WordPress accessible for everyone. This is my answer to the question, what is the responsibility of plugin developers? I keep this in mind when creating a plugin. Thank you very much. Thank you, that's good. Thank you. Uh, 
Anybody has any questions for him? Yes, anyone? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. We have some. Hi. Uh, my question is not about your talk here. Uh, what do you think is the secret of your success with contact forms? It's a secret. <laughs> Uh, actually, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why. Uh, completely no idea. Uh, why? <laughs> why? Do you think? Considering that contact form has uh, 40 million do downloads or installs, right? So, do you have a team to help you maintain the plugins? Considering the spanning, like, uh, I want, I want a team, but uh, I have no team. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm. Just a follow up. Do you consider hiring a team? Hiring, hiring a team. <laughs> yeah, someday. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, not, 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 yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. I think uh, uh, developing alone is uh, sometimes uh, easy, easier than uh, managing, uh, building a team, managing a team. Yeah. I think it's a little bit difficult. So, mm. uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess many people are interested to maybe join your other team, probably. <laughs> okay, alright, so if somebody else has any questions, then we'll move along. Okay. So, uh, uh, what is seven? Is it seven <laughs> or why you, why you call it contact yeah. code seven? Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it, um, I. I first uh, created the contact form 7 10 years ago. So, I don't remember the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's, um, I think it's uh, in 2007. So, might be it is the reason, but I'm not sure. I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you.